Next model in counting. So counting number of lines in the given figure. First see. Line means line can be represented joining of two points. If joining of two points I can call it as a line. Then see if it is a three types of lines we have. So first the first type of line you can count it as how many horizontals are there. Then how many vertical are there. Then how many inclined are there. They making with some angle. These are the three types of angle. So if you count it as a any line, focus on how many vertical, how many horizontal and how many inclined lines are there. Okay, for these questions, see, we have a two horizontal lines. The number of horizontal lines are two. And we have a two vertical lines. The number of vertical lines are two. And we have a two inclined lines. See, this is the one inclined and this is the other inclined. The total of inclined lines are two. So the total number of lines for this figure is equal to six. If you count it in same manner, count it total number of lines. Total number of lines means, first of all, we have a total horizontal lines. The total number of horizontal lines are three. Again, we have a three vertical lines. Again, three vertical lines. And uh, there are two inclined lines. The total number of lines in this figure is equal to eight. If you concentrate it on third question, see, the total number of horizontal lines means you have one, two, three, 4, 5. The number of horizontal lines are 5. If you concentrated on vertical, see, we have a 2 vertical lines and again we have a 2 inclined lines. The total number of lines in this figure is equal to 9. Okay, if you go to these type of count, some students counted, this is 1 line, this is 2 lines, this is 3 lines, this is 4 lines, that is completely wrong. Line means joining of 2 point means the number of horizontal lines for this figure is only Two. So the number of horizontal lines is only for two, not consider individual boxes. Again, if you go with the vertical, one, two, three, four, five. The number of vertical lines are five. The number of vertical lines are five. If you concentrated on inclined lines, here two, here two, here two, here two. One, two, three, four. Four twos are eight. The number of inclined lines are eight. So if we counted at the total number of lines for these figures exactly equal to 15. If you concentrate at these questions, see the number of horizontal lines. Here one horizontal and here two horizontal. The number of horizontal lines are two. Again, number of verticals one, two. These entire line I just consider as a one line. The total number of vertical lines are three. And concentrated inclines. Here one, two, three, four, five. 6. So the total number of inclined lines are 6. If you go with these figures, the total number of lines in this figure is equal to 11 only. So this is the concept of lines. Okay, let's see. Next counting in rectangles. Meaning of rectangle means a enclosed figure. A enclosed figure with the four sides. The enclosed figure with four sides we define as a rectangle. So this is the meaning of rectangle. See, first of all, this is the figure given. How many number of rectangles we have? See, just see. Number of rectangles means we already know that rectangle means L is not equal to B. L value not equal to B. Definitely it is defined with a rectangle. Then count it. So if we have a one rectangle and this is the other rectangle and the entire figure is a rectangle. The total number of rectangles in this figure is a 3. Clear? In this figure, count it total number of rectangle C. So in this box we have a one rectangle and in this box we have a two rectangles. In this box we have a three rectangles. So that is the initial one. Next one. If you concentrated on these lines. So this is the one rectangle line. If you joining these two boxes that is a rectangle. And if you joining these two boxes that is also rectangle. So we are including a two. If you concentrated the entire box, the entire box is also defined with a one rectangle. The total number of rectangles in this figure is six. So we have a property, every square box, every square box, every square box we can define as rectangle. So square we can define as a rectangle, but rectangle we cannot define as a square. That is the property line. Okay. Move on to this question. Count it the total number of rectangles. See, we have one. 2, 3, 4. Next, move on to that. This is the 5th line. And this is the 6th line. 
and this is the seventh line. Again, this is eighth and this is ninth. The entire box, the entire box we can define as ten rectangles. Clear? If you concentrated in these particular parts, see here, uh, this is one and this is two and this is three. See, this is the fourth box and this is the fifth box and this is the sixth box. In the same way, we can start here. So this is the seventh and this is the eighth. And finally, if you joining these two boxes, it is also defined as nine. The total number of rectangles in this figure is equal to nineteen. Okay, we have a easy approach. See, if we count it as any rectangle, make it as a numbers. Here one box, here two box. Simply add it together. One plus two. The total number of rectangles are three. So in this question, same given number one. Two, three, one plus two plus three. If you add all the numbers, the total number of rectangles are six. If these figures is count given, just count it same way. One, two, three, four. If you sum of all these numbers, the resultant become ten. In the same way, giving a number in vertical type, one, two, three, four. If you add it together, the total resultant is ten. So ten plus ten we consider as a twenty. But here one important thing. So these box, see, in these box we consider two times. That's why we can subtract it minus one. So in this figure, the total number of rectangles are nineteen. Clear? So count the total number of rectangles for this figure. Simply giving a number one, two, three, four, five. So these are the five boxes. If you add all the numbers, see, five, nine, twelve. 14, 15. The total number of rectangles in horizontal is 15. If you go to the vertical, same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you added all these numbers, it is also become 15. But we required how many rectangles in the entire box? If you required entire box, means simply the number is multiple with 15. This number is a multiple with this number. So answer 15 into 15. So the answer is equal to 200. 25 so in this box we have a number of rectangles are 225 okay if this figure is given same thing focus on these line so these line you just focus see again 1 2 3 4 so we get the total number of rectangles are 10 same thing 1 2 3 the total number of rectangles are 6 if you go to the last box 1 2 3 4 all are added together the total number of rectangles are 10 So individually, the total number of count is twenty six. But we required some together value. C means so. If you consider these two boxes, this is one rectangle. If you consider these two boxes, this is the second rectangle. The entire box is defined with a third rectangle. So the total number of rectangles in these boxes is a twenty nine. If this figure is given, see if this figure is given, one, two, three, four, all are together. It's a ten. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five. If you add it together, all the numbers are fifteen. Clear? But uh, if you add it together, the total number of rectangles are twenty-five. But we have a. This is the individual ten. This is the individual fifteen. If you joining together, the joining value we need to add compulsory. So the total number of uh, the total number of rectangles in this figure is equal to twenty-six. If this question is given, same thing. One, two, three, four. The value become ten. One, two, three, four. The value become ten. Again, one, two, three, four. The value become ten. The total answer is thirty. But here we have a common intersections in the counting. So these intersection and these intersection counting, we are go with the twice adding. That's why those two times we can subtract it. This is the compulsory value. If you subtracted these value, thirteen minus two, the total number of rectangles in this figure is equal to twenty eight. Okay, let's see. Count it. Same total number of rectangles in this figure. Same. Simply add these numbers. One, two, three. The total resultant is equal to six. In the same way, one, two, three, four. If you add all the numbers, the resultant become ten. If you multiply these two cases, if it is a rectangle, we need to multiply these two numbers. It means six into ten. The total number of rectangles are sixty. In the same way, if you go to this question, same way, one, two. Three. If you add all the numbers, the resultant is six. Again, one, two, three. The bottom resultant is six. So the total number of rectangles are six plus six is equal to twelve. 
But here see this particular portion we are counting in two times. If this portion is counting in two times, those value we can subtract it. So 12 minus 1, the total number of rectangles are 11 only. In the same way, the total number of rectangles, see 1, 2, again 1, 2, 1 plus 2, the total number of rectangles in this box is 3. Here the total number of boxes are 3 and 3 into 3, the total number of rectangles are 9. Okay, here option is 9. See, I will show you the total number of 9 rectangles here. This is the smaller one. See, first 1, 2, 3, 4. Every box I can call as a square or rectangle, that is 4. If you join in together, see, this is the particular portion 1 and this is the other portion 2. See, again that is the 2. If you add this box, this is 1 and this is the 2. So again we have a 2. If you go with the entire box, the entire box, the number of boxes is considered as 1. If you go with the total counting, the total number of rectangles are 9 only. In the same way, see, in the C, this particular portion, so the total number of boxes means concentrated. If you concentrated in this particular box, see, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you go with the total multiplication, this is 10 and this is 3. So, 3 tens are 30. So, 3 tens are 30. In the same way, this is the 1 box and this is the 2 box. So, 30 plus 2, the total number of rectangles are 32. If you combination of this portion and this portion, see, if you combine together, see, this is 1 rectangle and this is the other rectangle. So, these are the 2. Again, this is the 3 and this is the 4. So, the, we are 1 more 4. 32 plus 4, 36. Clear? And uh, we have a one more, one more part. See, if you add these entire box, see, these entire box we can define as a rectangle box. 36 plus 1 is a 37 and 37. And finally, by joining together box, see, these box is also defined as a rectangle. So, 37 plus 1, the total number of rectangles are 38. So, in this figure, we show 38. Okay, we have a doubt. Sir, sir, every square is defined as a rectangle. While we counting as a this one. So, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and 4. We have a 4 individual rectangles. By combined together, so this is the 1 part and this is the 2 part and this is the 3 part and this is the 4 part. So, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. But, I just consider these box is also considered as rectangle. That's why 8 plus 1, 9. So, I can choose as option 9. But you have a doubt, sir. These entire box is a matrix of 2 by 2. If it is a 2 by 2, we can define as a square. But why we counted as a rectangle? That's why property says square can be counted as a rectangle. That's why in this concept, the total number of rectangles in this box is 9. If you want to go with a specific defined question, some questions they given C number of rectangles, number of rectangles, including squares, including squares and excluding squares. This is the direct question, excluding squares. This is the exact meaning of including square and excluding square. If the question normally counting as rectangle means count rectangle means they said that we need to including the squares also. That is the meaning of question. But if you want to go with a detailed manner, some questions mention that we just include the square. Some questions directly mention that we just exclude the square. For example, number of rectangles including square means 1, 2, 1, 2. So this is the 3 and this is the 3. 3, 3 is a 9. If you want to go with the excluding squares means the total number of rectangles. The total number of rectangles minus number of squares. It means the total number of boxes are 9. So, in this figure, the exact squares are, we already completed the square part. If it is a 2 by 2, the total number of squares are 2 square plus 1 square. The total value become, so 2 square plus 1 square value become 5. So, those value I subtracted. So, 9 minus 5 exact value become 4 only. Those 4, triangles, four rectangles I will show. So, this is the 1, this is the 2 and this is the 3 and this is the if question related, if counting a rectangle means definitely that question including square. If we want to go with a detailed manner, so they mention that we need to count rectangles excluding square. If excluding square can define as the total number of rectangles can subtract and 
from number of squares. So this is the exact question. See, find the number of rectangles excluding squares. Generally, find the number of rectangles means these information including square. If you want to go with a specific information, they mention that we need to exclude the squares. So I just count. First count the total total number of boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you add all the numbers, that is 15. If you go with the same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the value become 15. So 15 into 15, the total number 225, it is a combination of rectangle plus squares. So if question number of rectangles for this figure, answer is equal to 225. But my question, we need to exclude the squares. Exclude the squares means first see the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The given matrix is 5 into 5. We know that if it is a 5 by 5 matrix, the number of squares formula n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 sum of squares formula. Clear? So if you sub uh, substitute 5 here, so 5 into 6 into 11 divisible by 6, 6, 6 cancel. If you want to go with this exact squares in this box is 55. The total number of rectangles plus squares is equal to 225. If you want only rectangle, if you want only rectangle means the answer is 225 minus 55. The total number of rectangles only in this figure is equal to 170. In the same way, if you count it as the total number of rectangles excluding squares, same thing, 1, 2, 3, if you add together, the total value becomes 6. Same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, if you add all the numbers, 4, 3, 7, 10. So, the total number of boxes are 60. So, these 60 is including rectangles and uh, squares. See, if you want only rectangles, means the squares we can subtract it. First, see, the given matrix is equal to 3 into 4. So we know the approach to count it as a squares in 3 by 4 matrix. The total answer is equal to 3 into 4 plus 2 into 3 plus 1 into 2. If you count it as 4 3 is a 12, 2 3 is a 6, 1 2 is a 2. If you add all these numbers, the total number of squares in this box is equal to 20. So the total number of squares in this box is equal to 20. We know that in this box, the combination of rectangles and squares are 60 and only squares are 20 means if you want only rectangles means excluding squares in these box is equal to 40 that is the information just see that if question counted as a rectangle means it is including squares but if you want to go with the direct information if you want to specific information in this question they mention that excluding squares if you are not mention, mention excluding square means we are counting rectangle if you count it as a rectangle definitely it is including a squares so this is the counting approach for rectangles. Clear? Yeah. Thank you.